In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple yet advanced strategy to run Facebook and Instagram ads and get an insane ROI. All right, so this advanced Facebook ad strategy starts out with a simple Google search. We're gonna type in site colon Instagram dot com and then we're going to do quotations whatever our niche is that we sell to whatever type of businesses we sell our services to we're going to put in right here so for me i'm going to put in mortgage right here quotations and then we're going to do another quotations and then do gmail and then another quotations and then we're going to hit enter so what this does is it pulls in a ton of emails from instagram accounts we can see right here here's one right here not all of them are going to have it if you expand this they might have it but you could see another one right here. Basically, it's giving us a ton of emails for mortgage companies around the world. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape the emails off this page here and we're gonna use it for our Facebook ads and I'll show you that here in a sec. You're gonna go to dataminer.io and you're gonna download this Chrome extension right here. I already have it downloaded, so you'll just download that to your Google profile and then we'll jump back over to our search results here. We're gonna scroll down and expand this as far as we can. Just keep scrolling keep going so it makes the page super long, click more results and keep going. The further that you go down, the better, the more uh, emails we'll be able to scrape off of this list. And uh, I'm just gonna call it good right there. That might be a few hundred or a hundred or so. And then from here, we're gonna go up to the top right. We're gonna click on our Chrome extension, this data scraper extension that we just added. Inside of the window here, you're gonna see this generic recipe, get emails, which is inside of Dataminer by default. And then we're gonna click X because that was a previous one that I did. I'm gonna delete this one. And then I'm just gonna click this little play button, quick scrape, and then it'll scrape all the rows on this page. It looks like there were 64. Like I said, if you kept scrolling down, it would get even more. We're gonna click on it right here where it says 64, and then boom, it scraped all the emails that it could find on the page that have Gmail in them. And so what we can do with this now is we can click download right here and download this list to a CSV file. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I'm just gonna call this mortgage emails, hit enter. So now we have that downloaded. Minimize out of here. And now we can jump into Facebook and make the magic happen. So I'm gonna jump into my Facebook ads manager. Go ahead and go into your ads manager. Once you're on your ads manager that you wanna run the ads from, go down to this button here that says audiences and it'll take you to this page right here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit create audience. And if yours doesn't look like this, it means you haven't created an audience before. You're gonna hit create lookalike audience. You might have a button here, a few different options, but I'm gonna hit create audience and then lookalike audience, you'll do the same. And then right here, we're gonna type in our audience location. I'm gonna do United States. And so what we're doing is we're creating a lookalike audience so that we can plug it into our Facebook ad campaign. Facebook and Instagram will send out our ad and put it in front of people that are almost exactly the same as this list that we're uploading here. So people that have the same interest, same demographics, all that kind of thing. Facebook has that data stored on all of its users. And so it can put our ads in front of the exact perfect people. And so we're gonna create this lookalike audience. I like to expand mine up to 5%. It just means that it'll broaden your audience. 1% lookalike consists of people most similar to your lookalike audience. If you expand it to 5%, it'll still be people that are very similar, but it'll broaden the audience and get you better conversion results. So I like to drag it up to five like this, United States. And then right here where it says create new source, we're gonna select custom audience with customer value. Select that, should pop up like this. You may have to accept terms and conditions first. Once you're here, you can upload this file of emails that we have. The bigger the file, the better, and the more information we give to Facebook. So if you can scrape a list bigger than just 64, like I did in this video, keep expanding the page and scrape as many as you can. Um, but a list of a couple hundred to a couple thousand would be perfect. We're gonna click this mortgage emails um, Excel file that we downloaded. We're just gonna hit close right here. This doesn't matter. And then right here, we're gonna hit no, continue with customer list that doesn't include customer value. And then you'll see the file right here is uploaded. We're gonna go down and hit next. And then you're gonna make sure this says email right here because that's what we're pulling into Facebook. We want Facebook to see their emails. It knows which emails correspond to which Instagram and which Facebook accounts. And so it'll put our ad out in front of the exact type of people that we've uploaded on this email list here, which ideally will be mortgage companies in this example or whatever niche you typed in it'll put our ad in front of that exact niche so that we're getting eyeballs from our ideal client avatar. So we're gonna hit import and create right here and then it'll take a minute to download and then we're gonna hit create lookalike audience and you'll see that we have our lookalike audience right here. Mortgage email CSV is what we called it. It's populating but it is available for use. So now we can jump into our Facebook ads manager. So I'm gonna click over 
We're gonna click into our ads manager and now we can actually set up a campaign that we can launch. So I'm gonna hit create here and I'm gonna show you how to use this custom lookalike audience. We're just gonna do leads for this example. And then we're gonna click manual lead campaign. We're gonna set everything up manually. And then under the campaign section, you obviously name your campaign. If you have a special ad category, you'd have to select that here, but I'm just gonna hit next. We're gonna do the Facebook lead form. So the instant forms here, we're gonna run it from this mortgage cheat codes page. I have to view the terms and conditions and agree to them. And now it'll let me use the page. And then down here, if we scroll down, we can set our budget and all that. And then we're gonna look down here for this Advantage Plus audience and we're gonna click switch to original audience options. We're gonna click use original audience and then it'll pop up and it'll look something like this. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to custom audiences and we're gonna select that audience that we just created. I'm gonna select this one right here and then it'll add that lookalike audience into our campaign. So it'll target people that are very similar to that audience that we just uploaded in in their emails. And then obviously you can set your location to like just the United States here. Um, so I'm gonna exit out of this and type in United States. So we got that covered. You can change the demographic, but the look like audience will do most of the work. You really just need to set the area in which you wanna run the ads, which in most cases is gonna be the United States, or maybe you work in a smaller local market, that's fine too, put in the state that you wanna run the ad in. But you don't have to worry about the genders, the ages, the detailed targeting and demographics and interests because the lookalike audience will do all that for us. Facebook has all that data stored on each of these users and their emails we just uploaded. And so it'll run our ad to the perfect people and we'll get the best conversions because of this. And then we can save the audience if we wanna use it for a future campaign and then go to next. And then obviously you could set up your actual ad that you're gonna run like the creative itself and set up your Facebook lead form down here and then you'll publish the campaign. And so once you publish the campaign, it'll start pushing your ads out to people. And because we uploaded that custom lookalike audience, it'll target our exact ideal client avatar. And that's the entire advanced ad strategy, scraping emails off Google, uploading them into a custom lookalike audience inside of Facebook, and then applying that custom lookalike audience to your ad campaigns will make your return on investment significantly higher and allow you to run profitable Facebook ads that are highly targeted. If you're looking to start a SaaS or a social media marketing agency and help businesses with their marketing, you can get my free SaaS masterclass down below. And also if you're looking to start an agency, you'll need a software called Go High Level, which you can get a 30 day free trial of down below with my affiliate link. And if you sign up with that link, I'll jump on free calls with you twice a week and help you build your entire agency and make sure you're set up for success. Please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.